Hello guys, welcome back in Django React Web with GWT Authentication. In the previous video, I have explained how to create React application. In this video, I'm gonna explain how to set up Redux for create global state. And I will use that global state as authentication system. Okay, at first, create a new directory inside SRC directory and name it Reducer. Then create outreducer.js inside the directory. Create initial state for outreducer. In initial state, I define access and reverse values are from local storage. That means I'm gonna store access and reverse token in local storage. I put message in global states for displaying the progress message. The next, create out reducer function. Out reducer has two arguments. Those are state and action. I put initial state for the default value of the state. Action is defined to be type and payload. Type means the type of action. For example, login success and login fail. Payload is data that we send after you get response from sending HTTP requests. The next, create the type of action that you need. You can create it in a new file in reducer directory. Create all type for every HTTP request you will do. Then, add type for logout, post alert, and guest view. Don't forget to export default the type. The next, import the type in outreducer.js and create conditional function using switch function. Case type dot login success means what will be done with the state if the login success. In this case, I will store access and refresh in local storage, and I will change access and refresh state to be access and refresh token is authenticated. Also changes to be true. User state will change to be user data, and message state change to be login has success. And for login file case. It will remove access and refresh token from local storage. Set access, refresh, and user states to be null. Is authenticated to be false, and the message states changed to be login has failed. The next, create verify success type and verify file type. Thank you. 
verify success and verify file only change is authenticate get user success and get user file only change user state When you send HTTP request for refresh your access token, the response only new access token. So, in the type refresh success case, I will store the new access token in local storage and change the state of access to be new access token. Is authenticated to be true and message to be refresh token success. In other hand, refresh token file case will be same as login file case. Change password, sign up, activate account, reset password, and set password. Only change the message of the state. Logout case is same as login fail case. Close alert type only change message to be blank. The last in guest view type nothing change. Then don't forget to export default out reducer. Now you have finished out reducer. Next, create new file in reducer directory and name it mainreducer.js. Main reducer is file for combining more than one reducer. Even though right now you only have one reducer, I still create it for the next development. Then you have to create store to save your reducer as global state. Create new file in src directory and name it store.js Then, apply your store in app.js To apply your store, you need provider Import provider from React Redux and import your store Then, wrap router with provider which contain your store
Okay, finish. You have finished configuring your Redux. The next, I wanna create alert for showing the message state. Create new file and name it action.js in reducer directory. Action.js is place for set actions function. I'm gonna create action function for running post alert action type. Close alert function will run close alert type in reducer function. Then create new file and name it alert.js in component directory. At first, import the source that you need. Use state is used for creating local state and connect is used for using Redux global state. I create local state for alert class. When close button get click, it will add the non class for alert class. That means the component will be hidden. And it also will run close alert action function. That means after you click close, message global state becomes blank. Props.message is the value will be sent from parent component. Null in the bottom means I'm not gonna get any global state in this component. The next, you can put alert component in layout.js. You can put it after navbar. In layout, I'm gonna get message global state. So, I need to import connect to get that global state. Maps to prop is common function for getting state from global state redux. State argument in that function refer to mind reducer. So to get the message global state, I put state dot out reducer where the state be stored and dot message. Then I put ternary function where if the message is not blank, the alert component will be included in layout. If the message is blank, alert component will be not included in layout and I send that message into alert component the next you can test alert component change initial state of out reducer to be not blank then save all and start react development server and open it in browser Okay, that's work. You can try to click close button. And close button works too. The next, I will add style for alert in mind.css. I use keyframe to create animation for alert component. The animation is that alert component will be shown moving from right side. I set position absolute and Z index 99 for showing this component in front of others component. Okay, you can test it again.
the style works Ok guys, you have applied alert component in layout.js So, alert will be shown in every page if the message global state is not blank The next video, we can start to apply login, logo, and change password Guys, thank you for watching If you think this video is useful, please subscribe, share, and comment See you in the next video Bye